basically been here for the majority of my life now. So Hong Kong has become my home, my family are here, my children were born here. So with work and life, the two have combined to, to make Hong Kong my, my long time home. I'm Dave Jordan. Uh, I'm an assistant commissioner in the, in the Hong Kong police. Uh, my current role is as the regional commander of the Marine Region. I was uh, educated and raised in the UK, uh, although I was actually born in Singapore, so I have a little bit of Asian, Asian background. So I've been in Hong Kong for about 30 years now. When I first came to Hong Kong, it was quite an, quite an overwhelming sense of a large, dynamic, vibrant, cosmopolitan city that, that just never slept. So that was the first impression. But probably the main thing that Hong Kong really has is, is its people. Its ability to, to adapt, to change, to, to see the challenge as, as almost an opportunity. The Hong Kong police has everything that you would want from a professional, modern, progressive police force. Even back in the early 90s, it was very forward thinking. And the guys I work with are, are exactly the same. They're supportive, they're dynamic, they stand up to challenge and ultimately they want to provide as best they can for, for the population of Hong Kong. So I'm just so happy to be welcome to be part of that. It's a decision I made 30 years ago and not once have I regretted that decision. Previously we had more of a focus on law and order, um, on crime prevention and aspects such as anti-counter smuggling. But recently we've moved more towards a, a kind of coast guard response and support for the population to, to allow them to enjoy this environment. Unknown to a lot of people but there are over 200 islands within, within Hong Kong and I'm responsible for the safety and policing on those. And a lot of these islands are, are very small. They have a very small, very uh, unique population. For me, Chen Jiao is, is, uh, is a very famous one. Uh, and the Bun Festival is, is, is how we call it in English, is, is a very unique uh, tradition within that island. So, Throughout the year, they will have small events to celebrate Tin Hao. We join together to, to celebrate tradition, to support each other, uh, and just to maintain that, that positive relationship. And as, as an expat, or as a Guaylo, they, they are very welcoming for me, which, which is very humbling for me. Um, I've never felt any difference between you know, my local work partners or local community. I'm seen as a, a member of the Hong Kong community and, and so I'm fully embraced and, and involved in all of these. I consider my colleagues my friends. I will socialise with them. As I say, I've played sport with them for years. They may call me a guaylo occasionally, but it, it's in more of a, a friend context. You know, I don't know how to say it. This is a good one. <laughs> when I first came to Hong Kong, we, we had a, a condensed a study in Cantonese for a few months. And then after that, I've tried to learn one new Cantonese word every day. If I'm willing to try and speak Cantonese, then my colleagues will support me and they'll correct me and they'll change my tones. Joseph 
呢個係個 wheel 啊。如果你想轉左轉右，你用個 wheel 啊，係所以叫我哋叫 port and start 啊，唔唔叫右手邊左手邊啊。I hopefully have another couple of years in the police force where I can continue to serve. Um, but my personal and professional uh, feelings are the same. Obviously, I'd like to stay in a, in a safe and secure Hong Kong that offers opportunities to the younger generation coming through and increasingly becomes more and more dynamic and the economic opportunities for, for the population continue to develop. But that's all embedded in the safety and the security of Hong Kong as a city. And I think professionally while I'm still in the police, I will dedicate everything to ensuring that Hong Kong has that, that foundation. Hong Kong is our home. Whether you're here, you've been here for a month or you've been here for 30, 40 years, ultimately Hong Kong is our home. It's where our families are, it's where our kids are educated, for many people where their parents are. So ultimately we want Hong Kong to be a stable and dynamic society.